St. Clairsville enjoyed another outstanding season in 2021, advancing to the regional finals. As Scott Nolte tells us under Brent McLean, success has really become the tradition at St. C. Coach McLean says it was a message from his high school coach that helped set him on the right track early in his career. Coach Billiard told me this long ago when I first started coaching, don't get lazy or get out. You know, and I, I want myself, my coaches, uh, to bring the passion to practice and the enthusiasm every single year to keep our kids excited about playing football and trying to move to this, you know, next step or next level and always set goals out in front of us. With 18 graduates gone from last year's team, Coach McLean says they're doing a lot of teaching in camp. They do return senior Andrew Vera at quarterback after he took over the spot in the playoffs following an injury to Drew Sefcik. Junior Colt Westlake returns as a big play threat at wide receiver. Senior Grant Swider, junior Cole Foburn, and sophomore Tyson Pastor will also figure into the passing game. Senior Jacob Walker and sophomore Dino Burke will carry the ball out of the backfield with senior Jaden Zebs at fullback. Along the line, they want to play as many as eight to nine guys with senior Jamarcus Webster at right tackle and junior Perry Patron at right guard. J.R. Adams, Marcus Rector, Braden Galloway, Jacob Thornton, Logan Fry, Wyatt Toothman, and Griffin Fogel will all see snaps. There's a lot of things that can happen, unforeseen things. We've experienced that in the past, so we're trying to build depth at each position. Um, the competition is doing that for us, I think. Defensively, the Red Devils have some players returning at each level. Look for Joswiak and Walker at the ends, Zebs and Adams at the tackles. Linebackers include Brennan Stout and Max Fogel with Foburn, Taryn Dukes, Caleb Walls, and Gavin Schoolcraft in the defensive backfield. They have to be mature early. We're playing some really potent offenses right away with some really good players. So we're going to have to be sound in what we're doing early on. And we'll rely on them, hopefully, to lead us into the first game. The Red Devils' first game is the 19th when they host Canton South. High school football previews in the 7 Sports Zone. Brought to you by The Health Plan, WVU Medicine, and The Highlands.